Our next to the stage is Elia Lumet. Welcome back to the Red Pill Redemption Saloon! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man. She played Deliverance. After Vanessa's bit there. Yeah. I started hanging out with a bunch of kinksters. Which is ironic because I basically became a red flag a few weeks ago for the most non-PC nervous breakdown of my life that I've ever done on stage. And uh, yeah, it wasn't really alt-right, more sad boy, than less, less proud boy. Um, pride boy? That sounds gay in a great way. It's confusing because most repressed homosexuals are conservatives. So, wow, does that make being homophobic gay? I need to fuck a dude till I feel straight again, I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm on top of the world, Jack. Is that the wine? Yes. I think I titanically fucked that up. <laughs> Kiss my ass, Krispy Kreme. Yeah, Aaron Brockovich, am I right? It's, uh, it's hard to uh, find people to date when you're on the spectrum, mostly for insurance reasons. Autism. And sometimes it speaks whether you want it to or not. <laughs> Fuck you, Temple Grandin. Woo! Reduce the education budget. I don't want to be aware of my problems. <laughs> All of the problems I have are assessed by the workforce and my compatibility with it. You know, like, yeah, I'm a fidgeter on the roof. I'll say it, first and foremost. Every choice I make as a white male is wrong. Uh, every choice. How do I express my pure sincerity? No? See? Right there. Wrong choice. No? Denver? What do you want to do, man? You don't want to know. I saw a commercial, and I'm, I'm really surprised to see it, like, in today's, like, modern era, it was like a progressive commercial, ironically, it's got Dikende Mutombo running around, being violent in public, scaring everyone under the, gentr the gentrification rainbow at supermarkets, at business meetings, everywhere that you could think of as a proper environment where it would be bad for a giant man to come in, knock something down, and then, as if that weren't bad enough, they cut right to a Dixieland, like these two white guys playing banjo on a little Dixieland stage, and I'm like, that is the most unprogressive like insurance bit that I have ever seen. Okay, that's my time, thanks. <laughs> Tim Finnegan, everybody. Elliot Lubet, everyone. Yeah.